you all will be dealt with. You think we're here to play? You, why are you late? S sir, my, my mommy was sick. Oh. She, she had headache from crying all through last night. My wicked uncle was very mean to her. And what is my business with your personal issues? Huh? What business do I have with your uncle? No, sir, you don't, you don't have any business with my uncle. Uh, it's a good thing you know. You know what's going to happen? I will discipline all of you! And by the time I am done, you all will be turned around for good. Because you all must be obedient students in this school. More so, you must be obedient citizens of this nation and this continent. Of this world and this universe. What did you say? Sir, I was only trying to complete what you were saying for you, sir. What gave you the temerity to open that smelly mouth of yours to utter a muscle of word, let alone a full sentence while you are under punishment? Eh? Eh? Tell me! Tell me! Sir, I was only trying to exhibit my knowledge as a follow up to your sentence, thinking that if you hear it, you might spare me the flogging this morning, sir. Oh, I will spare you the flogging, even yes. as you have come late to school. Yes, sir. Oh. <laughs> You're very funny. So why are you late? Sir, I was pounding pounded yam. You were pounding pounded yam? Yes, sir. You were pounding what? Sir, pounded yam. I don't understand. So the yam was already pounded before you decided to pound it? No. The pounded yam was not pounded. So I decided to pound the pounded jam so that it would be pounded for my father. You are very, very, very silly. <laughs> Next time you simply say, I was pounding yam. Because if the yam was already pounded, would there be any need for you to pound it again? Oh, sir, pardon me. You are stupid. You are a complete disgrace to all your English language teachers in this school, including myself. Huh? I'm sorry, sir. No, no punishment. Six strokes. That's what you're going to be getting. That will make it twelve. Six for coming late and six for the malapropism of word. So where do you want it? Your hand or your buttocks? Well, hand is for girls. Then buttocks for babas. For babas. Ah, you show me to the conquest. <laughs> ah! For babas, right? Yes, sir. <laughs> Sir, I really need to score you, sir. What did you say? I need to score you, sir. You flog like an old woman. Two I... over hundred, sir. What did, you, what, what did you say? Yes? I flog like an old woman. Sir, with all due respect, I had to tell you, sir. With all due respect, come yes, here. Yes, sir. <laughs> ah, okay, ah! now I see. Sir, this is my misery, Lord. That is this, my misery. Sir, this, this is, this is, this is, sir, this, this is my misery. This is why you are saying you are babas, ah! Sir, mm -hmm. that, that is a violation. You putting your hand into my body is a violation of my of, a, of my human rights. Sir. Of your human rights? Yes, sir. Huh? Sexual harassment. Sexual harassment? Yes, sir. Hey, as your baba. Ah! Turn around. Turn around. Sir, you can't flog me again. What did you say? You already flogged me, sir. Are you, are you being silly now? You already flogged me, sir. Oh, you are you being silly now? You are already I'm not a small boy. Yo. It's not because I'm in secondary school. Everybody knows that I've been failing my exam. Mm -hmm. I'm 23 years old. So tell me, am I a small boy? No, you're not a small boy. You're old enough self to marry and to have a family. Oh, mm -hmm. so now tell me why any teacher will treat me like a small boy. Eh? You carry cane and be flogging me on my buttocks because mm -hmm. I came to school late. Even if I, even if I wake up on time, I still have my football betting to do because that's mm -hmm. the only way I pay my school fees and then feed myself. See, let me tell you, I will not forgive that Mr. Ozweme now. I will not forgive him. And if I do, know that my name is not Abraham, father of all nations. Oh. You will see. We must plan for that man. Oh. That's exactly what I wanted to say. I know where he normally goes to drink beer with his girlfriend. Uh, We'll, wow. go there this, we'll go there this afternoon to hire some variables and we are going to deal with it. Good. They will beat him black and blue. Ha. Black and blue. Eh? 
Please, don't beat him. You can't, you can't do something. You can set you live by way of peace. I don't like fight, though. I don't like fight. It's either they kill him or they leave him dead. Sure. Half That's dead. Sure. I don't sure. care. I don't care. Oh, ah. God. I don't care. I've said my own. It's either they kill him or they leave him half dead. Simple. Ah. I was thinking we could get drinks and then uh, stay back at home. You know, have the drinks indoors. I don't want to go out. I don't stand, want to stand the risk of you know running into my students. You know, them mm. seeing me out drinking. That is not a good example. You know, teacher, mm. you don't want your students to see you after you've gotten drunk and puked on yourself. No. <laughs> no, I, 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 I don't want that. But you know, I was going to mention it. It's quite mind-boggling the way you drink. You know, the, the beautiful lady like you. It's a bit much. Really? Mm -hmm. How much? Really much. Like, mm. 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 <laughs> I mean, I'm just thinking. I, I, I'm not hoping for the worst, but. Only God knows, maybe one of these days you could just walk into an oncoming vehicle. Hmm. Clean your mouth. What? Clean it. What? what? Take it back. Take what See, back? my girlfriend is not going to get drunk and walk into an oncoming vehicle. Okay, okay. <laughs> you know what? I take everything, every negative thing I said. You know, Even the, the one you've thought about, take right. it back. Yes, oh, oh God. No, nothing is going to happen to my baby. Say you love me. Of course I love you. Even when I drink. <laughs> I love you even when you drink. Okay. <laughs> I love you too. So, I'll get you food. I will personally prepare your food. Okay? And bring it and then we can go out. Alright. Okay. <laughs> I love you. Love you. Even when I drink. <laughs> of course. <laughs> You think I'm joking with you, right? No, sir. No, you think I am playing, huh? No, sir. Don't call me, sir. I am your husband. You call me Hero. I am not your sir. You are not my husband. Hero, my husband is dead. You are not my husband. I said I am going to marry you, and you cannot change that. Look at my face very well. I am getting married to you. Get used to me. You cannot marry me. My husband died just last year. And you expect me to remarry just like that. I am still in pain. I am mourning my late husband. Papa Nene is still very, very fresh in the grave. I cannot remarry. Take me my way. Since your husband died, who has been taking care of you? No, tell me. Who has been paying your daughter and Nene's school fees? Who has been paying the rent in the house that you are living? Marry me and then you are telling me what? My God will bless you. Huh? Heavenly Father will reward you. Please, just help me and remove your eyes from my body. I'll put it where? Tell me I'll put it where? And you are telling God to bless me when you are the one to bless me. In fact, boys, take this woman to my bedroom. You cannot force me. Take her to my baby. No, you cannot force me. No, you cannot force me. You think you are stubborn, eh? You think you are stubborn? No problem. I will deal with you. You see you? I will deal with you. In fact, get this one out of my presence, out of my house now. I said, get out! My yes. wife! Don't turn your back against us! And don't turn your back on us! Oh. We are being oh, your brother's family! Please. Rubbish! And then, whenever the teacher gives any assignment, mm. I'll be peeping into my book. <laughs> she will copy everything I write. Then, 
The teacher is confused because she's reading exactly two the same answers to the same questions. I write is, she writes is. Not even a single change. She wants to assign me, Abby, <laughs> so that Kennedy will stop having eyes for me and start having eyes for her. This lie is not possible. Not in this life. Ha. Mm. But, 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 Kennedy is a fine man, Sha. Before. Hey, Kennedy, <laughs> you have eyes, though. <laughs> See, he's what two of you fighting after. He's fine, but me, I don't like him, Sha. I have eyes only for Chuka. Mm? He's like the rain after the restless sun in the Sahara oh. Desert. Oh my oh. god! Hey. hey, Chuka is fine. You, Ba, why you like Chuka? Chase because his father is a local government child. Uh -huh. Because he's a rich man. Yeah, yes, now you like him because they bring him to school every that, day. With that's that. not why. Uh, that's not why. Mm -hmm. I like him because I like him. Aha! Uh -huh. I know you. I know you. <laughs> <laughs> what a bad nene. She never tells us anything. Mm -hmm. Always so secretive. Today you must tell us yeah. which of the boys do you have eyes for in our class? Eh? Uh, which one will you tell us? Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So if you know me, I don't have time for boys. Please. Ah. She said she don't have time hey, for boys. Hey, love that girl. Is it girls you don't have time for? I don't know. We can see. Eh? Okay. Ah. Okay. Hmm. No problem now. That's how she is. Full of surprises. Hey, be mm. careful though. Be careful if you get pregnant. Hey, you have a secret lover. The way you are smiling, smiling, smiling. They will suspend you from school. Hey, you see, I'll be telling you to be careful if you don't know. You and I are your chuka. People should be better, better be careful. And you, Kennedy, yeah. I don't even know what to call you. You, you both better be careful though. <laughs> look, at, look at someone though. Look at someone that she, she watched it. She's telling us. She has done lots of work. Imagine. Yourself. You, hmm. me and my sister, we are careful. We are living. If she get pregnant, no problem. I will always be a godmother. Again. Hey. That man is so wicked than me. His own is too much. Someone is. will not allow the poor man to rest. But hey, Nene, no, should I, I don't know. Can you still eat? She She's crying. Eat. Somebody that is crying you cannot eat. Let's have, let's have uh, respect yeah, yourself. I'm just, crying, yeah, <laughs> look at this girl. You. Oh, yeah, oh yeah, wait. I'll share this food. My love, I love you so much. I love you even when you're angry and your eyes are shooting fire. Oh, how I love you. How I love you. When I'm speaking with my friends, they always ask me, Nene, who is your boy? <laughs> but I don't have a boy. I have a man all to myself in my heart. That's where you live, my prince. What will I do for you to notice me in that school? For you to know I even exist? I mean, you only notice people who get into trouble. But I'm a good student. Should I get into trouble more often? At least so you notice me. And now the bad boys in school, they are planning for you. They want to hurt you. But don't worry, my love. I will not let anyone harm you. I will fight for you, my love. Okay. 
and we're about to go to bed so can you tell me any bedtime stories i like the loved ones snow white pocahontas oh you can even tell me about maleficent i'll get scared and then i'll crawl onto your chest and you'll cuddle me <laughs> See how you make me giggle. <laughs> Mama? I heard your voice. I wasn't talking. Oh! I was saying my night prayers. With laughter. Uh, yes, yes. Um, I just remembered all the good things the Lord has done for me and you know, you just made me laugh. The Lord is good. <laughs> honestly, mommy, honestly. I mean, he, he does things in a certain way that just, you know, just makes us happy all the time. Yes. Praise and honor to the author and the finisher of our faith. Amen. Amen. My darling daughter. Yes, mommy. It's now time to sleep. Enough of the laughter. Okay. Mm. Okay, Mom. Oh, yes. Yeah. Good night, Mom. Good night. Okay. I love you. I love you too. Mm -hmm. I didn't lie in my creator's name, did I? Oh. I said he does things that makes us feel a certain way and makes us very happy. That's not a lie. He made me love you and that love makes me so happy. I love you so much. Adi gave me to park union's meeting. You're ready, boss. Okay. Um, you know why? I was hearing a female voice outside. When I don't carry woman come my house. No, boss. It's your niece, Nene. Nene? Yes, boss. Bring her in immediately. Nene in my house. Uncle, come here, sir. Nene, how are you? I'm fine, sir. What are you doing here? Nothing, sir. I am asking you what you are doing here. You are telling me nothing. Why are you here? But she came to ask us to help her prevent some boys from beating her teacher today in school. Who gave me? Nene? So anything that happens in your school, you now make it my business. Eh? I pay your school fees, right? I buy your books. And now you want me to beat up other students for you. Are you boys not working for her? Uncle, I'm sorry, sir. Sorry. The Maran way. Anyway, it is good that you are here. And I want you to give your mother this message for me. Tell her I said, no matter how deep a guinea fowl hides her eggs, a smart hunter like Henro will shoot his shot to it. Muhammad Nikai, did you just hear me? Don't keep me quiet. Did you hear what I just said? Yes, sir. Another thing, know that I love your mother. I love her and I want to marry her. Have you been in love before? Uma Okbia? Uma Oma Oma Ede? Okay. Anyway, just get out, get out of my house, get out of my house. And um, Shola, boss. where are the other boys? Outside, boss. You said you guys are ready, right? Yes, boss. I don't have time. Ah, well, behind time. Let's go, let's go. Okay, okay boss. We don't have time. Let's go. Oh! Yeah. Get them! Yeah. Oh. 
Bounced on me, just like that, for no reason. That you can ask anybody around, anybody. Huh? Young lady, start talking. What happened? You can't talk. I'm talking to you, my friend. Talk what now, talk. Because huh? I know that you can't just pounce on this man for nothing. He must have done something to you. Tell us. Hey, hey. The rabbit is eyeing me. You are eyeing me? Am I your mate? Baby, frog her. This girl is rude. Oh, no, you're being, you're being rude. We're trying to find out what's, what's happening. You can't talk and you're being rude at the same time. I will do it with you. Your hand, your hand, my sister. Stretch your hand, stretch your hand. You're you. Ah! Ah! Sister, please, sister, sorry. You keep away. Oh, bring your hand. You think I'm done with you? You're collecting 24 strokes. Okay, oh, we're just watching. Your hand, your hand, your hand, your hand. Your hand, your hand. Ah! Your hand. 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 Are you playing with me? No, no, no! Are you are you are you playing with me? Ah! You 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 are playing with me. You're playing with me. Let me see. Nene, there's blood in your eyes. No, there's no blood. There's no blood. Nene! My mom! Ah! Wicked man! Very wicked man! Will you stop this? Take a look at man! Instead of flogging her hand, you flog her eyes! Hey! 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 Blood, blood, blood. Oh, I don't want to say that. Wait, let's go. Wait, let's go. Wait, let's go. Wait, So when did this happen? Today, around 4 o'clock. <laughs> I tried calling you, but you did not pick my calls. Uh, at that time we were calling, I was very busy. I was at the Motor Park uh, Managers Association meeting. So there was no way I could have picked your call at that time. They have killed my daughter. Uh, no. <laughs> they have turned the name to a blind girl. How would my daughter survive with just one eye? How? You see? You see? Now you need me. Now you need a father figure and a man of the family. You did not think about all this. Just the other day, I was asking you out and you were reject you rejected me, huh? You rejected me. Now you see. Please, let's not talk about that now. For the sake of your late brother, Bobo, save me and my daughter. Help us out, please. I'm begging you. Bobo, you know my people say, Omanobo, my Oromoe, meaning whosoever blinds my eye will marry me. So in this case, the teacher, what you call his name, or teacher, whatever, is he married? No, he's not married. Okay, good. But my daughter cannot marry a teacher. Oh, I'm married. Eh? Nene is too young to get married, though. She's too young. Help me, she cannot marry now. She cannot. Good, no, eh? How old is Nene? 20, 20 years. Nene is 20 years old and you are telling me she cannot marry. She cannot, she's too young. See, in this case, 
there's only one solution. And that is how our ancestors used to do it. She has to marry this the man. If your late husband, Bobo, was alive, he knows exactly how it is done. He would have told you. In fact, it is even good that uh, she will be getting married to that boy so that you will be alone and you can, that can hasten your decision. And it will be for the good of me. Not just me, for you and I. It will be for the good of us. Eh? So where is Nene now? She's still in the hospital. Hospital? Which hospital is that? Southern Shore. Oh, South... Southern Shore, Southern Shore, Southern Shore, okay. Um, I think I know that hospital. Oh, Southern Shore. That's a very good hospital, and I'm sure they can take good care of her. Um, where is John? John! Sir! You call Dr. Jubri for me, put him on the phone. I need to have an update of um, what is going on. Okay, sir. Thank you. Don't thank me, by worry. You know, you know what the what what I want and we'll get back to that but now we need to I need to look into this matter first. Huh? Mm -hmm. Hey! <laughs> okay. Baby, baby, take it easy. I mean, her eye is not yet blind. I'm sure there's something the doctors can do. Huh? Sh sh should I go get it? change anything. Let's just find a solution. Who is this dog that is barking? Okay. Hey, what solution? No, I will die here. You will kill me here now. Kill me. Ma madam, please. Kill madam, me. Madam, madam, please. Madam, please. Kill me. Please, kill me. Please. I, I, I am sorry. I am very, very sorry. Okay, I'm sorry for everything. But I, I, under the circumstance, I, I promise to do whatever it is, whatever it is to make you feel better. Hey, you want to make me feel better? If you make me feel better, will you make my papa better? You will make her feel better, right? <laughs> Madam, no, I, 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 you cannot. You cannot make my daughter feel better, so kill me. Just kill me. You have sacrificed my daughter's eyes, so you must kill me. Kill me. Madam, look, I, 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 I assure you that my entire salary, complete, everything, I'll dedicate it you know, towards caring for, getting her the best medical care till her eye is healed. Ah, Please. Your salary? You think I need your miserable salary? You think I need it, right? What your salary want? What your salary want? You know what? I'll make you miserable. I'll make you die. I'll make you... Hey, get what is this? Uh, baby, get up. Uh, what's this? Get up. Baby, get up. Why are you kneeling down for this woman? They're just here laying courses. What's the words all that? If you are gender your child well, would you be in this situation? Come and fire your mouth! I'm a deal and fire you! My ancestors, they will kill you! No, but as you can understand, you think I'm afraid of all this rubbish that's coming out of your mouth? Nobody's going to fire me. I will see the truth and I will state it. Okay, okay. What truth? Was the fight happening in the school premises? Did she fight in the school? So why did he go outside the school to flog my daughter? Why was your tout of a daughter fighting on the streets? He was only trying to bring her up in a proper way so she doesn't end up irresponsible. But clearly you don't appreciate it. Hey! So you're insulting me? Insulting my daughter, right? You're insulting my daughter after everything you have done. You are still insulting me and insulting my daughter. No, I will not take this from you, people. I will make sure you pay for it. You people will die. You 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 will die. You
please, 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 he made my daughter blind, and now he's walking out on me. Now he's walking out on me. Who are you explaining to? You now. Come on, get out of my face. Huh? Baby. <laughs> Baby. Ah. Come and kill me. I was fighting for teacher also. I was fighting to save his life, but he did not know. But how can the person I was trying to save be the one to kill me? You were fighting for teacher Ozo. Why? How? I don't understand. We all heard Abraham hatching plans to, to, to beat him. Beat him to death even. Uh -huh. I couldn't let that happen. I, I couldn't let any harm come to him. Then you should have told teacher Ozo. You didn't have to carry it into your own hands. Did you? I, I get tongue tied whenever I'm in front of him. Why are you too tired? Why are you that scared of him? It's not fear. Then it's what? Talk. Say it. They're your friends. He's the man I secretly love. <gasps> Why? You're kidding me. Chicha was on. I was fighting for love and. The same love I was fighting for did not even try to protect me. Instead, it made me blind in one eye. Can I live like this? Sorry. Blind because of love. Sorry. When they say love is blind, I, I guess this is what they were talking about. I approach you this food. And I want you to eat it regardless of your appetite. You see, teacher, also. I. You will never know peace again in his life. You mm. will die mysteriously. May he never know peace again. For the rest of his life. May he build a house and never see anybody live in it. May I also drink water and the water will taste like bitter leaf roots in his mouth. Mama! Ah. May he go and beat another student and his head will turn to that of a roko tree and he will never be able to use that hand again in his life. Mama! Ah. I am here, my daughter. I can feel your pain. I see your pain. <gasps> the child will turn to a miserable man and he will die a homeless man. Mama, stop! Stop! <laughs> Mama, the pain in my heart is not from these eyes. How can you be cursing a human being like that? It is not fair. Please stop. <laughs> A mother's heart is broken when she sees her child in pains. I see your pains and I can feel it. Mama, the pain I'm feeling right now is not from these eyes. It's from the words that is coming out from your mouth. Please, just stop cursing him. It's okay. Stop. I will stop. I will not curse him again, no. I will not curse him. Ah, teacher, so. He will run mad! Mama, don't no, say that! No, 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 Mama, stop! Mama, stop! Mama, Mama, stop saying this like that! Stop cursing your fellow of my feet! It's just so busy, it's so fair! Okay. It's so nice! I will stop! How can you be cursing your human being like that? I will stop! Mama, stop it! 
Mama, no, it's okay now, Mama. See, I will cause him more pain. Okay, I will not cause him again. I will not cause him. He will just run mad. I will not cause him. Mama, he will run mad. Mama, you're adding to it, though. You're adding to it. She will eat her food. She will eat her food. Make sure she eats it. She will eat it. She will eat it. Mama. Ah, this is okay. You will try like a fool. Sorry, sorry. But you have to eat too, so I'm that Mama will not come back. No, no, no. You've not sorry, eaten. Sorry, sorry. You've not eaten all day. You have to eat. Except Mama will come back again. Do you mm -hmm. want that? You cannot come at not eating food to this one that is worrying you already now. Please eat. I don't want you to fall sick. Yes, we can't continue like this. If not, Mama will come back again. Do you want to come back? food. Babe. Just know that whatever happens today, you and I are in it together. Okay? Teacher, I've been speaking with the doctor. And um, he called me today and to tell me that after several tests that had been carried out and a meeting with some specialists, some eye specialists, They've come to a final conclusion that um, Nene's eyes, where that kid went in, is is damaged beyond repair. Hey! Hey! Enough. <sighs> Enough. And um, as I was saying, the the eyes have been damaged. Um, beyond repairs and um, unfortunately there is there is nothing we can do about it so I am sure that you are you are happy now clap for yourself you are happy now right yes, you are happy now no sir I can't be happy I, I, I'm really sorry it, it was an accident <laughs> You know these things come with consequences, right? And in this case, uh, the consequence is a good one. You know why? Because you become my in-law. You will marry Nene. Okay? That is how it is done in my village. That is the law of my village. And by my order, you will be marrying Nene. I am an influential man with so many boys at my beck and call. If you fail to do that, you will pay dearly for it. Sir, uh, it, it, was, it was an accident. You I know it was an accident. Oh, it was an accident. That is what I'm saying. He will have to marry her by accident. Accident lead to accident, right? What, 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 what kind of life would we have together? I mean, I don't love her and she most certainly doesn't love me. What kind of life are we going to have? A boy now, two as well. What kind of a question is that? It's a married life, of course. Without love? Will you just shut that your mouth? That your God that you come out, will you just shut it? Am I begging you to marry my daughter? Answer me. Am I begging you to marry my daughter? Take a good look at my daughter. Am I begging you to marry her? Now, let me tell you something. This is what I want. It is going to be an eye for an eye. We are going to block that your eyes. That is what I want. Exactly. Alice, you, you spoke my mind already. You know what? For this which you have done, it will be an eye for an eye. But in this case, it will be an eye for two eyes. We will pluck off your eyes. Oh God. Huh? So you know. You only have one option, and that is to marry Nene. And it is not without her consent. Nene must give the consent for you to marry her. And if she refuses, there will be their consequences. And if you think 
that you can run away, you are running nowhere. We have our voice in every part, every nook and cronies of this country. You have nowhere to run to. Shala, where are these boys? Shala, look closely at this man. Look at him very well. He is a marked man. I want to have every of his details. Wherever he goes, whatever he eats, whatever he does, I want to know. All eyes must be on him. Did you hear me? Good. Sir, please, I love him. At the end of the day, I'm the one that will lose out in all of this. Please. Now, let me make it very clear to him. Look at me very well. Listen. You better find a way to start making her love you. Buy her gift. Soften her heart. Do whatever you have to do. But, like I've told you, you must marry her. Make sure she accepts you. Otherwise, there will be dear consequences for this. You know I have my boys all over the country, right? And Ro, at this point, I think you should please ask my daughter because she has a say in this matter. Please. Nene, this is the man that blinded your eyes. And you heard what I said, right? So, will you marry him? refuse to marry you. Justice has to be served. You know that, right? No matter where you run, no matter where you go, you cannot escape us. We will find you. We will find you and we will pluck off your eyes. We will pluck off your eyes and you will be left to die or you will have to live with only one eye. It is an eye for an eye. In my tradition, that is how it is done. You cannot change it. Now, you know why I brought you in here? Because there will be no proof. Nobody can save you. You cannot run. Even if you go to the police and tell them I said this, there is no proof. You cannot have any proof. Huh? That is why I have brought you in here to say this to you. And um, for your information, that is a decree. We will send words across. You are a marked man. You will be marked for punishment. And you cannot change that. Huh? Yes, I'm sorry. I am a traditionalist and I want you to know that. And that is exactly why you see I'm trying to marry my brother's uh, wife. So for this which you have done, you will face the punishment. Sir, please, please, I beg you. Please, I beg you. I, I beg you. Let me let me pay fine. Let me let, let me pay fine. You know, 
I'll, I'll, I'll sell my property. I have, I have a, a, a piece of landed property somewhere. I'll, I'll sell it. I promise. My my salary for two years. I will save it and, and everything over to Nene. Please, please, I beg you. And uh, we think that is going to bring her eyes back. Young man, I've finished talking to you. You can leave. Prepare to face the consequences of your behavior. Uh, wait, um, what if what if I, I what if I can you know convince her to, to marry me? Uh, uh, then you then you are safe. Okay. Then you are safe, and then you save everybody from this this whole wahala, huh? Yeah, so, so if I, can, if I can try to make her change her mind, if she changes her mind, everything is good here. Yeah. If you convince her, like I said. Will be safe. So, um, which of the girls' eyes did you did you blind? The left one, sir. Ah, 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 the left one. Ah, you know that's the very important eye. The eyes of intuition. The eyes of the spirit. The eyes of a peripheral vision. Uh, you know when you go to sleep at night, if the spirit wants to appear to you, they come through the left eyes. Do you know that? No, sir. You see? You don't know anything. You don't know anything. That is why you flog women. You think life is as simple as it appears. Have you no knowledge that many girls you see outside are not who they seem to be? Some are on this life journey with companies, spirit companies. Some will bless your life and some will make you cry. That's your girlfriend, Vera. Does she have good luck? I don't know. After you have been with a woman, check the things happening to you. Are they good things or are they bad things? So if bad things begin to happen to you, you may want to change that feeling. I say the same thing to women too. We all come to this world with spirits company. There are those that we agree with who we are with and those that we not agree. If the man's company spirit and the woman's company spirit agree, both of them will enjoy life to the fullest. But if they do not agree, they will keep having problems upon problems upon problems. Life is very deep. Oh, one question. Um, what if I love her and our company spirit do not agree? Can the spirits be appeased, you know, be bought over with you know, gifts? Uh, you are learning fast. But ask yourself, why have you got to be the one in this kind of problem? You only flogged her for fighting and her eyes got open. It is an omen of evil. But book people and school people will never tell you this. Because a lot of people have gone blind to our cultures and traditions. Those things that make us a people. Go to your love and wait for your eyes to be plucked out. Young man, go. How did he go? It didn't go well at all. Babe, let's go to the police. I can't. I can't go to the police. That man doesn't care about the police. He's still going to mess me up regardless. You haven't told me what you guys discussed. Eh? No. What do you mean, no? I'm your woman and I deserve to, the right to know. I have to marry that girl. You what? You can't do that. You didn't tell him you have a woman already. Look. Babe, you, you have a wife, a wife to be. He can't force you to do that and you can't do that either. Are you going to do that to me? And if I don't marry her, I'm going to lose one of my eyes. 
or even worse. Plus, I cannot run from him. I can't become a fugitive forever from his long arms. I can't do that. What are you even saying? Let's go to the police. He's not the governor of the state. He's not the president of the country. You made a mistake. In worst case scenario, they charge you to court. You do not understand. It's not that easy. The police will not help. You think the police will help? They, they can't. You don't know what I've gotten myself into. Over my dead body, will you marry that woman? Also, hold on, hold on, Father. We can talk about it. Babe! Oh my god, my legs! Aza! Aza! What? My legs. I fell. Let's go. Oh, your own is too much. you jump at the opportunity to marry him. Such a surprise, you did not. Mm -hmm. What is your reason? My dear, I looked into his eyes on that day and I did not see a single trace of love. It was just empty. Mm. No love, no affection, nothing. Mm. But did you see pity? Yeah, pity. What am I doing with pity? Huh. Some people end up marrying people that they pity you. Yes, so. And pity people they love. Mm. <laughs> Wait, what are people trying to say? That if I truly love teacher also, I should pity him. Wait, in order to save his eyes or save him from my uncle, I should marry him out of pity. Is that what you people are saying? You know, this could be God working out ways to get both of you together. Yes. When you begin to live with him, he will see what a sweet soul you are. Mm. And you will begin to know that you love him so much. Mm. My dear, he can never know how much I love him. He can never know. Do you know why? Why? Because he has eyes only for Vera. Vera? Who told you he loves Vera? He does not love that girl, though. That woman does not want fight. Mm. Yes. I think he finds her. What's that word? What's that word? What's that word? What's that word? Mm. Convenient. Hmm. Mm. Mm. What is love? <laughs> love? Butterflies in your stomach. No, that's not what love is, so no. Love okay. is pain. Well, love is one heart beating it to bite itself. No, shit. I read that somewhere. But I just think love means different things to different people, Sha. You, what's your meaning of love? Me? <laughs> to me, love is somebody buying me pop off. Hey, what? <laughs> Jesus! Seriously, you know, like pop off, very well. Especially that one I have oil inside. And buns and cake. Cake that have plenty icing and ice cream. I love ice cream. Cold one! Hey, this is what doing my body like this. And love is when we close from school and the boy just takes my neck. Hey, my body will just be sweet in me. Or when you see me going to my mother's shop, the boy will not stay and be looking at me, will not be waving. My mother will not see him. Yes, now. Or on the road. You will. If the person waves at me on the road. You will get pregnant at the <laughs> <laughs> You better watch it. I'm okay. smarter than that. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I smell. Uh, uh. Oh my god. Oh my God. But really, back to us, uh, yeah, I will not marry him more. Oh. So you just leave him for them to pluck out his eye like that? I don't know. If he's smart, he can run away, just run to somewhere nobody will find him. He but can't escape, oh. You know your uncle. Your uncle have his juju. He will send his juju after him. Mm. And the worst will happen. Mm. He will die. I beg you. Look at my friends' eye now. Eye for an eye. Whoa. Mm -mm -mm. Forgive the mighty eye. Forgive, call, forgive me. If it's your eye, you call him. Call him. I beg you. Tampa justice is messy. You.
Vero, Veronica, Vera, fine girl. How are you now? Eh? Fine girl, how are you? Foolish girl, how are you? Useless girl to a useless man. I greet you. You better caution yourself. Caution yourself. The next nonsense that comes out of your mouth, you receive slap. Look who is warning me. You? Look, I'm only here to tell you that I'm just waiting for your boyfriend to die. Then as soon as he dies, I take over. Hey, you will take over from what? Oh, you didn't know he was going to die, right? All of Nene's friends are saying it in school that Henry will sacrifice him to the gods. It is your generation that will die. Your entire family will be used as sacrifice. Okay? Oh. Not my boo. Who said book? A book cannot die. I did not say a book. Oh. You're not even smart. You are stupid as you look. You don't know the difference between a boo and a book. Who raised you? I'm sure you're lonely and empty. Nobody has time for you. No one would date you. You don't even know what a relationship is. You don't even know what love is. That's why you are here, on the streets. Nobody's capable of loving an idiot like you. Ah, okay. Beru, you say I cannot find love, right? Ah, you will be the first to love me as soon as Ozo die. Then I will just take over. I will take over. Useless child. Useless animal. Alright, no wala. I go with you now. You go see. Where are my lord? <laughs> That hold on. Hello, Nene. How can I help you? Um, I I bought you some things, um, beverage, lady stuff, um, soap, cream. All this for me. Why? Um. I, I just thought you might uh, need some of it. So. Because of my uncle? You're afraid of my uncle? That's why I bought all this for me. Or is it because you truly care about what, what you put me through? No, don't worry. I know the answer to that question. You bought all this for me because you're afraid of what my uncle will do to you. Well, don't worry. He will not do anything to you. So you can go with your gift. I'm not interested. Please, just you don't have to bother yourself. I am not interested in your gifts. My uncle was just talking. He won't do anything to you. Please, eh? let's go. So in peace. Please, let's eh? go. Ah. Please, let's go, Joe. Ah. Thank you. God bless you. Oh. You did what? 
Are you a coward? Huh? Are you a lily livered man? Hey! So the only place you have power is when you are flogging little children. Just little shake now, little threat. And you're already shaking like one that they put salt on. Eh? Have I been wasting my time, my whole years with you, a wimp? Wimp? You call me a wimp? A chicken. Add that to the list. A chicken too? A godless spine, if I will continue. No, 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 just stop. Stop, okay? Just take, take a look at this. Hmm? Take a look at this. Tell me, am I, am I spineless now? This man, the main business. What, what, what happened? And those boys, they will lead me on my way to work. Wakes me away in the car to one of the rooms in Rose's house. And they malhandled me, they brutalized me. And I was told that next time I won't be so lucky to escape with my life. Spineless man. Okay. But I, I just want to ask, why exactly did you buy her the gifts? It's simple. I needed her to talk to her uncle, you know. Let him know she's fine. Just maybe he will let me be. And have you asked yourself what his motive really is? What does he stand to gain from all of this? Well, from what I gathered, it's based on what he believes. He's apparently a traditional man. He believes in his customs and all that. Feels it's a duty for him to enforce it. Because he worships, you know, one of this juju in his house. And apparently, if he goes against their beliefs, that thing might harm him. Ah, you should just shut up. And you believe that nonsense. Let him just say it as it is. He's in love with Alice, Nene's mother. And he wants you to marry the girl so he can marry Alice. Well, okay. How can I marry that girl even if she agrees? How? Even if you buy her all the gifts, her mother will still not allow you to marry the girl. The girl does not like you, does not want to marry you. You know? And now we're caught in, in, in the clash of two interests. So what is the solution? The solution is probably find a way to be on Henro's side, you know? Let's just look for a way to, because you know, if at the end of the day, the girl doesn't marry you, then he'll try to carry out his threats, his so-called traditional threats, because of his ego. At the end of the day, we're still on the receiving end. Well, can't Henro just Marry Alice, even if Nene is still single. You should just do that. Because you know how mothers are. Obviously, the woman doesn't want to marry him. So she's probably using excuses like, I want my daughter to be done with school. I, I cannot leave her alone. I want her to finish school and marry before I can think about marriage. And those type of excuses. You know, if we, if we had our way now, we would just find a way to get Alice to marry. Henry and everything will just end. It makes no sense. How are we going to do that? Do we just tie up Alice, bundle her to, to Henry so that he can fulfill whatever desires he has? And then he will stop seeing the opportunity that this whole accident is presenting. Is that what we're going to do? No. <laughs> What do you think? What do you say? I think 
it was a good idea you bought the girl gifts. Just, just find a way to be nice and stuff so we can buy time. Buy time for what? To do what? To save up money and leave this country. Run away from this country. Do you know how long it will take to gather that kind of money? Oh my goodness, I'm stuck. Stuck? Stop saying that. You're not stuck. We're, we're in this together. <sighs> Babe. It's okay. Hmm? You're not a spineless man. Okay, we'll talk later now. Okay. Oh, sit, sit. Is um, is this not the young lady? that came the other day with Ozo, the teacher. Um, Ozo's girlfriend, right? Yes. Oh, oh, oh. Um, I was told um, you wanted to see me. I was told you've been out for over 30 minutes. I was on, uh, I was on an international call. Um, what is it you wanted to discuss with me? Um, Bruce, um, John, Shola, you guys um, give me a moment. Okay, go on. Sir. Yeah, I'm listening. I don't want you to hurt Ozo's eye. I don't want you to kill him. Ozo is a very good man. And he loves his students very much. He wants the best for them. I know what happened between him and Nene was out of place. But he didn't mean it. Please. That's why I've come to beg you. To just please spare him. I know you're the only one who has the power to. And, and just help us. Please, you're the only person that can help us at this point. I'll, I'll do anything, anything you want. Anything at all. <laughs> anything? Yes. Anything like what? You will go to my village and uh, you give uh, the gods. Um, 10 cows or 50 sheep or ram. What about the girl whose eyes uh, were hot? What about the mother? Sir. I'm listening. I, I give you myself. I've never done it before, but at this point, I don't have a choice. The body, and you think that is enough? No, not once. You can, you can come as many times as you want. Okay. What did you say your name was again? Vera? Yes. You know, I'm a widower. And there are so many women everywhere. But I have my eyes for only one. And that is um, Alice. And you see, this woman, she will not give me attention. I'm a very influential man. I am very, very influential. I can have her if I want to, but I don't want to do that. I want it to come from her. I want her to consent to it. I don't jump around. So I have my way of doing things, okay? Huh? So my plan is if Ozo gets married to Nene, then she will be lonely and then I can have my way. And um, apart from that, you see that boy called Ozo, that's your boyfriend or whatever, I already have my plans. His eyes will be plucked off. Sir, please, all I'm asking is to give my body to you in exchange that you do not block off his eyes. 
you call off your watch over him and you do whatever it takes so he doesn't get harmed. So we can solve this thing any way possible. Uh -uh. So you said um, you love that teacher called Ozo. Huh? Yes. Yet you want to be a concubine to me. I don't understand how that works. You have another man's heart and you want to give me your body. I have to do what I have to do because I love him. You know what? You look very innocent and helpless. But it seems these your plans are deliberate. And like they said, looks can be very, very deceptive. And I'm seeing that in you. Sir, you, 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 you said you, you, you've been lonely. You can come over tonight to my place. I can keep you warm. Woman, indeed you have God. Sir, I don't want to marry a one-eyed man. People will laugh at me. They will laugh at me back home and I don't want that. Back home? Where is home? Home is in Abuja. My parents live in Abuja. I'm just in this town for my youth service. You know all these things you are telling me? You know I can expose you. Tell us all everything and um, you both will be over. You're not going to do that now, are you? You're too mature for that. Or will you? <sighs> Young lady, get out of my house. Yeah, sir? I said get out of my house. Sir, please consider. Don't make me repeat myself. Nonsense. Everything okay? I mean, your your heart—it's beating fast. My heart? Yes, I mean, I I, I noticed what, when I hugged you, it was pounding really fast. Is every, are you all right? Is everything okay? Is everything okay with us? No, it's not. I mean, ever since this all. Accident with the girl, everything has been upside down. It's been really terrible. Good. So my heart has every reason to beat. Hey, are you sure everything is okay? Because I, I, I am certain that there's something wrong with you. What's, what's going on? What is wrong with you? Why are you being cranky? Do you want me to go? No. Oh, finally. No, no, babe. Come on. Not like that. I mean, I'm just concerned for your mood. It's just off. I am fine. Okay. Fine. Okay, it's fine. It's okay. It's all right. Okay, on a lighter note, I, I, I was calling you all day and couldn't get through to you. How did your day go? I went to the cinema and I turned off my phone. Okay. Really sorry for putting you through all this. Babe. Even your countenance, the way you breathing in it, it, it something is wrong. Oh, just, just stop it. What? Are you now a doctor? The diagnosis people by just looking at them? You know what? I'm leaving. Babe. I'm serious. You know, some nights just don't cut it, even for people dating. Because if I stay here, we're going to end up quarreling, and I don't want that.
Ozoi Mina. I love you. I love you very much. Ozo, is that you? All done. How are you? Today you made me an offer um, to save your boyfriend's um, eyes. And you know, that is why I'm here today. That's why I'm here right now. Right? Talk now, talk. Yes. And you said I can have it as many times as I want. Don't be so you talk. Talk now. Yes. Uh -huh. And I'm here now. Um, I don't have much time. Where is the bedroom? Okay, let's go to the bedroom because I don't have um, I don't have all the time. Let's go, my friend. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I don't have all the time. I said, don't waste my time, oh. I don't have all day. <clears throat> Up. Please, this morning, come and go. What did you give? What did you give me? I'm still sleeping at this time. What do you mean? What did I give you? I didn't give you anything. Okay, you slept off after after dressing up. I don't know what you you drank. Please, my boyfriend is calling me, and if I don't pick this call now, he'll come and look for me here. I don't want him to meet you. Please, come and go. You said boyfriend? Yes. Ah. We are going to have a problem here. Oh. What problem? <laughs> you have to dump that boy. That was all whatever. I want you for myself. You marry me. He's my fiance. Fiance? I am your fiance. You can't come and complicate everything for me. Why would you do that? I have told you. I don't want to drag him and drag you as well. Get it in your head. You will marry me. What about Alice? Alice. If you are given a fresh palm wine and an old palm wine, will you go for the old palm wine? Hey, Rob, drank a fresh palm wine. And that is what I want to continue drinking. I hope you understand that. I've told you. Let's not have any problem here. You dump that boy. Okay? Meanwhile, thank you for last night. Let's not have issues, though. I plan on how you dump that boy. You know, I have a lot of things to do. I cannot keep, I cannot continue with remaining in the woman's house. I will go to a court. Remember what I said? Dump that boy. I don't want to drag, drag him and drag you along.
Who is it? Hold on. Who is it? Babe. What's going on? Come, 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 come. Sorry, sit, sit, sit. <laughs> Talk to me, talk to me. What is it? <laughs> Fee. What is wrong? What's happening? What happened? <laughs> oh my goodness, Fee. Don't do this. Talk to me. What is it? What's wrong? What happened? I, I have fever. <laughs> and I have had a drip. <laughs> it's okay, it's okay. I think I have, I think I have internal heat. <laughs> just, just calm down. You'll be fine, everything will be okay. Right? Are you I, going I, to leave me? No, no. Are you sure? I'm very sure. I, I believe all this is happening because of the, the pressure. Pressure. Of everything yes, going pressure. on. Yes, pressure. Sorry, sorry. Baby, do you love me? Tell me the truth. I love you with my life. I love you so much. <laughs> it's okay, baby. It's okay. Who is it? It's it's me. <laughs> What are you doing? How are you? Okay, thank you, sir. Can I come with? What's going on here? Um. What's going on here? Um. You invited her to this place? Yeah. Oh! Wow! Wow! Yeah, I, I, I told her she could, you know, come anytime she wants. I mean, you know, despite everything happening, we could just still be cordial. No, she can't. Hey, you can't just walk in and walk out as you please, okay? You can't do that. This is not a supermarket. Oh, shush. What's that? I can't leave. Of course. Shush. Wait, wait. Just a... Uh, can we... Talk outside for me, just me, please, please. Let's talk. Hey. Wait, 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 wait. Ah. Hey. Ah. Ah. Get down. Hey. Does this look like a fake movie done to you? Rabbit. Unbelievable. Hey, what is wrong with you? Why are you desperately trying to ruin things for us? We both agreed that we we're going to bring this girl closer. Make him so, some sort of friend to help with this situation to buy ourselves some time to figure out this quagmire. Why are you being unfair? If you have any sense of fairness in you, you will stop raising your voice at me. This is your idea of bringing her close? This is all you could come up with? Why are you acting like I knew she was even coming over today? Can you even hear yourself? You invited her, but you didn't know she was coming over. You had to invite her when I was not around. Think of it. It is rude. It is disrespectful. If not to you, to me, and I will not take it. Even if I knew she was coming, how was I supposed to let you know? Yes, I tried calling you all morning, but I, I wasn't able to reach you. And... Look. It's fine. Let's not fight over this, okay? Please. We agreed to do something. Let's stick with it. Let's just go back inside. Pretend like nothing happened. Just chill, drink, be conscious. So, reducing your voice will not change anything. It's not happening. Never! Sarah. Babe. And it's not fit. I hope 
did leave you for too long, you know, all by yourself. It's okay, well, let me see you off. Let's go. Okay. See who off? Eh? Hey, <laughs> girl. You're playing with fire, you know. Me? Excuse me. Listen. What's this? What's all this petting and pampering you are doing? Hello? Nobody seen you off. Nobody invited you. Do you understand? And you can't just walk into my man's house. You call before making any of such useless moves. Now get out. Get out. Do we have a problem here? I'm so frustrated. God, I feel so hurt. Maybe I'm tired. I feel so hurt. I think I have a headache. invited you to his house. Are you dumb? And you went there. Why? It's not like that. I wanted to beg him to give me extra moral lessons. I don't want to drop out of school because of this and this until I get better. So after explaining all this to him, he still refused you. Hey. He did not. It's, it's Vera. She just chased me out of their house. Vera. This Vera again. <laughs> Have you called your uncle Hero? Okay. I know what to do. Don't cry. I've never been so embarrassed in my whole life. It's not as if I went there to do it. I just went for my sleep I felt so... Don't cry. You see that boy called Ozo, he's playing with fire. He was married in it. But he has a fiance. And she's making my daughter's life miserable already. How will such a marriage work? I would suggest we ask him to pay compensation, like some money. And with that, we'll be able to change my daughter's school. So she will not be bullied or ridiculed. And people will not see her as a threat to other teachers. You should just leave my daughter alone, please. Oh. So who is going to pay for this new school? Me? <laughs> Never. Not me. That is an absolute waste of money. Let this girl to go and marry the teacher. And then uh, the lady you are talking about, the fiancé or whatever you call her, she has no ability to stop uh, Nene's destiny. God forbid. My daughter's destiny is not to marry at this age. So what is that destiny, madam? Tell me. You have become a god, huh? 
or her destiny is to get married at, at uh, 100 years old. I know what you are doing. I can read you like a book. I know you want to marry my daughter off so you can bounce on me and marry me at all costs. I know it. <laughs> Woman, I have lost interest. I'm no longer interested in, in you or marrying you. As a matter of fact, if you ever see me look at you or ask you for marriage, you know that my name is not Hero. Are you sure? Yes, my name is not Hero, aka I... Talk and Do. Are you very, very sure? Meanwhile, you will not change school, okay? You will marry that uh, man, the teacher, Ozo. And then, uh, once everything is fine, eh, I will change your school. Let's take things one after the other. First things first, okay? Huh? Huh? Good. It's okay, eh? Everything will be fine. I'm your uncle, everything is going to be okay. So don't worry. Ozo, or oh, whatever you are called, you have three weeks to wife my brother's daughter. Otherwise, I will send my boys after you and you know you will not survive it. This is not a mere threat, so you know. It is not. But chief. Don't chief me, Gunwe. I did not call you here to have a discussion with you. We are not discussing. I am telling you what you have to do. And you will do it. As a matter of fact, get out of my house. Get out of my house. Remember to bring the wine, no? Don't force my hand. <sighs> what is that? The boy is Nabu. You are going? Hey, John! Why do you keep threatening Ozo? Why can't you leave him alone? <laughs> See, I want him to marry Nene so that he can get out of our way. When he's married to Nene, then I can have you to myself. Was that part of the plan? That wasn't. <laughs> Clearly your motive was Alice and the tradition. <laughs> you see, that motive has changed. The motive now is you and the tradition. I'm never doing anything with you again. Okay? I need you to stop coming here. <laughs> Is that even possible? You know I cannot. I, I, I cannot leave you. You're not going to force me. You cannot force me. I do not have to force you. All I need to do is tell us all what has happened or what is happening between you and I. And he will simply go ahead and marry another woman. Even if he doesn't marry Nene, that is not a problem. He will simply marry another woman and the situation will remain the same. That is if he survives what I'm going to do to him. How did we end up in your hands? A few weeks ago, we were living a normal life, enjoying our relationship. How? <laughs> you are being very funny here. When you pushed your boyfriend to go about flogging students outside the school compound and the school hours, what do you expect? No, tell me, what, do you, what were you expecting? You answer me, and then I will give you an answer to how you ended up in my hands. Don't push me. Don't push me. I've said this again and again. You are hearing me, don't push my button. I have a very short fuse. Like I told you, what Hero wants is what he gets. Leave your boyfriend, or what you call his name, Ozo, or whatever that teacher is. Says who? I am saying that right now, Hero. I said, leave that boy. Don't push me. 
I don't have time for all this. I have a lot of political meetings and uh, the park meetings to go to. Don't, I don't want to drag you on this issue. In fact, let me get out of this place. I can get angry. want from me? What is it? Your uncle is busy going up and down, threatening me, threatening to end my life. You have refused to, to, to help me with this whole nonsense marriage gibberish. And here you are, again. What is it? What do you people want from me? What about you? What do you want? What, what sort of question is that? I want to be free. I want my life back. My fiance says, one thing this minute and then the next she's saying something else and all this madness going on all together. I want to be free again. I... 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 You what? I've come to save your eyes. The last time I tried saving you, I got into trouble. I got into this trouble. I hope I don't get into trouble doing this one, no. You're, you're confusing me now. I don't follow. Abraham and his friends, they were planning to do you harm for flogging him. I heard them talking. They, they were going to come to the, the bar where you usually go for drinks and, and have you beaten with some area boys. That was why I came there that morning. I came to fight them, to protect you. And then you came there to flog me, get me blinded. My goodness. My goodness. You what? Yes. I came to protect you because I... Because what? Talk to me, because what? I've agreed to marry you. Sifralia, I've wanted to tell you how much I like you, how much I love you. But you have Vera walking around town with you, and I knew you were never going to look at me. So I kept it to myself. <laughs> they said if I marry you, I'll be saving your life. And I want to save your life. Even though you've reduced mine by making me to live with one eye for the rest of my own life. But I don't want anything to happen to you. I guess that's what love is all about. And this girl. Again. Tell her what you told me. Why? I don't owe her anything. 
Look, I know you owe her nothing, but she's my woman. The three of us need to come to an arrangement that works, okay? I do not want my eyes plucked out, and I certainly do not want to reject your proposal. Babe, she, she has agreed to help me, to marry me, to save me. Trust me, the marriage is going to be all pretense. It's nothing real. I, I know this is a shock, and this is not the best of news, okay? But like I said, she's doing this to save me, and it's all pretense. Nothing is real. Really? I'm happy. I'm happy for you. But have you asked yourself why she's really doing this? Why are you suddenly interested in helping my man? I'm talking to you. Why do you suddenly want to save him? Because, like you, I love him. But you have the upper hand, so there's nothing. Oh, shut there. up! You love my man! Oh, <laughs> what am I saying? Why am I not even surprised? Is it not the same tact that was fighting on the street that led to the loss of her eye? So your uncle has finally forced you into marrying my man and you accept it. Maybe it's not, it's not, it's not. It's not what? Vera. I'm done. Vera. Vera! Stop knocking, just go away. Okay, go, I don't need you, I don't need anything from you, just go. Go to your new wife. Vera, please, open up, please. Vera! Go away! Go to your new wife! Leave me alone! She'll be alright, okay? to happily announce our engagement. Yes. And um, I brought you this one. Uh -huh. Okay. Why you are doing the right thing? You see, how difficult was this? You could have done this all this while instead of making us go through all the stress and all that. You see? Look at both of you. See how you look good together. You guys fit so well. In fact, hold your hands. Hold your hands. I want to take a picture. Let me take a picture. Where's this microphone? Hold it. Mm-hmm. You both should smile. <laughs> uh -huh. Eh no. Ah good. I like this. This is a happy day. You see? Now you have become a man. I always tell young men of these days, do the right thing. You see, now you have done the right thing, you will be so happy. You see this girl you have right now? 
a young girl. She will cook for you. She will take good care of you. This is a very young, beautiful African woman. And then you were putting your eye on one girl, that girl that I've seen the whole world. What is left of that girl? I can promise you that you will enjoy this girl. Huh? Congratulations. Uh, where are these boys? John! Hey, shall I boy? Where are these boys? Ah. Get my in-laws food to eat. Get my in-law food to eat. Congratulations. Congratulations. Thank you, sir. Ah. Uto. Wato. Now, now you're happy now, right? Mm -hmm. I told you. I told you you will be happy when all it happens the way I planned it. You see? You saw how they were holding hands, now you saw everything, right? So now the coast is clear. And you know what that means. Hello? Are you there? Uh -uh. <laughs> this guy ended the call on me. <laughs> this guy is joking with me. She does not realize that I would, if I tell Ozo everything, it will be over between them. Okay, we shall see. <laughs> we shall see. paid all traditional rights nothing you just come stay with me and um, a bottle of wine this kind of marriages they don't follow such procedure because there's no time but you are expected to do all those within a space of 12 months Nothing. We will live together. You keep your two eyes because I helped you save them. And then you try to tolerate me. And you? I'll continue my education in the next academic session in a different school. You cannot be my husband and my teacher now, can you?
I like to unpack my bag. During the week, it's pretty easy to keep tabs on her because she's at work. But weekends are more complicated. <laughs> I have explained to keep that. So, this is it. Your plans have worked. You're finally moved in. Ms. Vera, good afternoon. This also is not done. Oh, keep your greetings to yourself. What is wrong with you? A secondary school girl skimming her way into the life of a man. Clearly, you know you're a schemer. So you planned all this. You had eyes for your teacher all along. All along to the point that she would stop at nothing to be here. Miss Vera, please stop shouting at me. Oh. Who are you to tell me to stop shouting at you? Are you mad? What? You better get your little ass from that thing. I'm going to get your things and get out of this house. It's not possible. This is my house. You are the one that is going to leave. Hey, hey. Your house. What? Because you think that you have puppy feelings, puppy love for my man, and you lost an eye. The world is going to sympathize with you? Is that it? When they find out that you snatched my man? I love him. You love him? What do you know about love? What do you think love is? Oh, you think it's this, this? You that's not your really. You think that is love? It's okay. So what are you going to do? What am I going to do? What's going on? Hey. What's going on? No, 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 don't be quiet. Uh -uh. You have switched. She was about to beat me up. No, no, she formed the fist. She was about punching my own eye so that we would be even. No, no, that's not what happened though. She just walked in here and was shouting at me and insulting me. This and what did you do? Mm -hmm. You decided to fight, right? No, no, I only stood up to protect myself from her. Protect yourself from me. Come in, buddy. No. You are trying to, you know what? On your knees. Kneel down. Kneel down. Raise your hand. Raise your hand. You're still, you, you are still my student. I, I'm, I'm still your teacher. You, you are still my student. <laughs> on your knees. Your hands up. Your hands up now. Can you imagine? Kata, she's acting meek. This girl. This girl is nothing meek. There's nothing meek in her. When you are around, she's pretending like you're meek for people. When you're not there, the tigress in her comes out. What? What? Look at you. are crying. <laughs> hey, I can't believe this. Show him your true colors. Oh my God. God, I can't believe it, baby. We don't need all this. I love him. You love who? You love who? You know, you know, how, I, did, how, how did I get myself into this? How did I get myself into this? Babe, babe, this girl planned it all along. Her uncle is not God. Send her out of the house and let's live our lives. Don't be scared of her uncle. He's a human being. We shouldn't be scared of him. Say something. You're not going to say something. Fine. Vera. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Leave me alone. Hey, don't touch me. Leave me alone. People just understand. I love him.
I'm here again. I'm sorry it cannot happen. Oh. You want to change your mind after I've helped you. But you know what will happen to your man, right? What will happen? Whether I had done anything or not, Nene would have still married Ozo. I moved too fast and I regret it. Mm. Yes. Mm. What is done is done. And you cannot change that. But one more time, she is definitely not too much. You know that. Huh? One time. One more time. Uh -huh. I don't blame you. I blame myself. I was too impatient and I truly, I don't even think that I loved Ozo enough. Because if I did, I would have waited it out with him, whether he lost an eye or not. I was too embarrassed. I didn't want my friends to laugh at me. I didn't want the society to laugh at me. And now see what I have done. I'm already a shamed woman and I accept my fate. But if you don't leave my house this minute, I will scream. I will scream, Rick. Get out. I should leave your house. Yes. You call yourself shame for being with me. Huh. Am I that bad that a woman that has been with me will call herself shame? Okay. Okay. I will deal with you. We shall see. <laughs> Do your worst. We shall see. Do your worst. With all due respect, sir. Get out. We know that I am Chief Hero. We shall see. Chief, get out. All right. Chief, I don't understand. Why did you change your mind suddenly? Because I have been dreaming. Mm. My ancestors are saying that I did the wrong thing mm. for marrying that girl off to that teacher, uh, Ozo. They are saying that I have to punish him and bring her out of that marriage. If I may ask, this your ancestors you keep talking about, how do you see them? How do you even communicate with them? <laughs> Uma, what do you know? Can you go to the places that I go to? Can you enter the places that I enter? You cannot do the things that I do. So, when you start asking these kind of questions, I start wondering. Okay. Uh. As for me, I don't understand and I really don't know how I am going to explain this to Nene. She has already moved to the boy's house. What will I tell her? I don't even understand. I don't even know how to tell her. That's it. You know what? Just find a way to bring Nene out of that marriage. I have my reasons. Hey. Oh, hmm? This is an embarrassment. This is an embarrassment. There is nothing embarrassing about that. You know, I'm thinking I let that boy off so easily. And I need to punish him. He insulted our family, you know. I must punish that boy. He has rubbished my family. Hey. Rubbish. Mind me now. But make him... No, I will deal with him. I will definitely... Do. Oh, honey. Oh, honey. Oh, he did what? Igbe. You see, uh, I've been calling this uh, Vera girl, or what they call her, and she's not picking up my call. <laughs> John, you know the Vera girl I'm talking about, don't you? No, sir, no, sir. Ah, uh, ah. Uh, you don't know her. You see, women. Women of nowadays, that is how they keep deceiving you boys. They will tell you that they love you, and you will believe, don't you? You always believe them, but they always deceiving you. That is why I decided, you see me, I cannot marry. After I lost my wife, I told myself I'm not getting married again. I have two children. They stay abroad. They are schooling there. A person and is okay. They are there. I cannot marry again. Because all these girls you see here, all of them, they are the same. 
I have uh, my friend. Uh, you guys are not drinking. I'm the only one who is drinking here. Yeah. Open your drink, your glass. Drink, 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 up. drink, drink. Fill your cup. When this one is done, you go and get more. And you see, today there is no boss, there is no server, there is no boy. We are all men. Are we not all men? We are all men. Ah. So you see, uh, uh, as I was saying, that uh, Vera girl, that Vera girl, that she's been sleeping with me, uh, sleeping with uh, that teacher boy, uh, Nene's, uh, what do you call it, the uh, husband, uh, Ozo. Imagine. So the stupid girl expects to be sleeping with me, and still be sleeping with uh, that boy. And he thinks that that boy will not find that one day. That is how my friend, uh, that my friend in uh, what do you call it, first stack. But they, that is how but they uh, was uh, sleeping with uh, that is uh, tenant. And that is tenant was uh, has a has a boyfriend that he was planning to marry. You see all these guys, they are all the same. That is why I said, you see, the only woman I can actually get married to right now is uh, Alice. You see Alice? Because she's the only good woman that I know right now. Every other woman, they, they are not good. So you see, that Vera girl, sleeping with me, sleeping with us, does she have sense? She don't have sense. Bro. Does she have sense? She doesn't have sense, boss. Aha! So are these women? They are all like that. Yo, I know you are married. You, are, you don't want to get married. You don't want to get married. But it's okay. Eh? It's okay. Ah. And you see that girl, God of Vera. I will deal with her and she will be sorry. Eh? I will deal with that girl. And she will know that I am her role. I am her role. She will know me. She's a stupid girl. Very stupid girl. Mm. I, 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 stupid, stupid, stupid girl. So. Uh, you ready? You ready? Oh, wow. I missed it. OK, that works. You want it? Take it. Take it. Take it. <laughs> Take it. Nah. Take it. Take it. Take it. Do you want more? Huh? Do you want more? How long were you planning on hiding it? What are you doing in my house? And what are you talking about? What you don't know is that I'm very close to all my uncle's boys, Shola, John, all the domestic staff. And your news is trending in our house. Everybody knows that your uncle Henry's chick. My well, chick is even good self. Yeah, he's concubine. You see, my uncle drank a lot last night. And he opened his mouth wide. He was telling everybody how he comes to your house every night. Are you going to deny it? I'm going to tell my husband about this. Let's see how he will love you after hearing this news. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. Please, don't tell him. You're begging me. No, I'm not begging. If you claim you love him also like you do, you would know that this would be too much for him to handle. It will hurt him and it will break him. That's why I'm just trying to see reason with you. Don't, don't mention it. It may break him, but the truth will set him free.
know, I don't understand why you would cook up a story like that just to implicate an innocent person simply because you want me to kill the feelings I have for her. No. Why? No, no, I, please don't take it like that. It's just that I want you to be fine. And I don't want anybody to deceive you. No, oh. and um, Vera is deceiving me. Yes, yes she is. Okay, I don't believe you. Okay, okay, ask my uncle. Or ask his boys. He never ceases to amaze me. So what am I supposed to do? Pick up a phone and call your uncle and go, um, Uncle Lenro. So did you by any chance sleep with my ex? Because as far as he's concerned, she is my ex. She's a thing of the past. You are my wife now. Yes, th that's true. I don't understand what's true. Vera, she's a thing of the past. She does not truly love you. I know what true love is. Oh, oh really? Yes. See, I feel it in my heart. I feel it for you. Oh. And what if I don't feel it? Sometimes you learn to love people with time. Especially if they have been good to you. to break up. It's almost as if you, you, you've been waiting for an excuse. Look, babe. Babe, we, we... Let's, let's spend the night together. Let's, let's talk things over. Let's stay in bed and... and sort this out. We, we can win this. Win what? Everything that's been happening. You've already lost. You have another woman now. Kidden, at least answer me. For my own peace of mind. Peace of mind? Well, go back to the person that fed you the information to give you the answer. touching my things. What the hell do you think you're doing? Why are you touching my things? Why are you even close to my bed? Will you put that thing down on rubbish? Oh, listen to me. Henceforth, I do not want to see you in this area. You hear me? See, this part of the room belongs to me. On that side, it's your part. You hear me? Do you understand me? Now listen. If I ever catch you anywhere around this area, I will flog you. Yes, I will flog you. 
you're looking at me for I will flog you like the child that you are since, since, since you want to put me through hell. But if you get, 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 get out of this place and go, go, and, and go to that side, move, move, move! If you're tense, get out, get out. Nonsense. Why are you evil? Why did you come into my life? Why? Why? What did I do? I was okay, I was living well, I was fine. Why did you put your hand over your eye? Why? Why did you put your hand over your eye? Why? Why did you put your hand over your eye? Why did you do it? Everything was perfect. I was okay. I had a great life. I had a freaking balanced life. This is a set of war. What is wrong? What is wrong with you? What did I do? Why? You just ruined me. And what? <laughs> what did I do? Why? It's just ruined me. Then what? Ah! What kind of, kind of evil is this? What kind of evil is this? Are you happy now? Are you happy? Are you happy with everything? You know what? I'll be the one to kill you. Yes, since you say you want to die, you want, you want to destroy my life, you want to ruin me, I'll be the one to kill you. What is What, what are you doing? You stupid. Get off my bed! Are you okay? You think I'm playing with you? This is your breakfast. Uh, you'll be late for work. I don't understand you. You think fixing me breakfast solves all this? Really? I don't want you to starve. See, even anger requires energy. <laughs> Get this nonsense up Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
Thank you. Mm. This food is so sweet. Thank you. <laughs> now, my daughter, are you happy? Are you okay? Is everything fine? Is he treating you well? Mama, everything is fine. Please eat. This one that is not even talking to me. Well, with time. I'm sure he, he thinks you hate his guts. But with time, he'll come around. I don't even care about myself. I just want you to be happy. That's my own happiness. That's all I'm after. Mama, you worry too much. Eat. He's actually a very good man. Yeah! I'm surprised. <laughs> he is. If he gets close enough. Are you sure? He is. Are you very sure? This one is looking like a crocodile. <laughs> He's a very good man, Mama. Don't worry yourself. Please eat your food. I trust your cooking. Because your cooking is one of the best. And you're also the most beautiful girl in this town. Mm. Except for this accident. <laughs> hmm? Mama, even with this accident, I'm still the most beautiful girl in this town. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Thank you, Mama. I'll wait now. Very sweet. Who gave you the permission to serve my juice and food to your mother? I didn't think I needed permission. You didn't think you needed permission? How silly is that? Huh? Did you buy food in this house? Did you buy the juice? Did you, do you provide for anything? Do you have money? Do you buy things in this house? Do you work? Do you earn a salary? Have you contributed in any way into this house? Now listen to me. Everything in this house belongs to me. Now you will seek permission before you use anything. This is not your house, okay? No, no, stop shouting. I will not stop shouting. You're getting comfortable and you shouldn't do that. Don't, 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 don't get comfortable in this house. Don't get comfortable. Yes, I mean it. The only thing I, did, I think I did wrong is to love you. To love me? The only thing I think I got is to love you. To love me. Did I ask you to love me? Eh? Did I ask you to love you? Is it by force to, to love you? I cannot love you. Is it by force? Sorry, I did not say that. Why are you doing this to yourself? Tell me. Why? Are you not tired? Are you happy? Why are you doing this to yourself? Not like I can even ask her to leave if I do that now. Are you silly uncle who come after me? But tell me, you leave this place and go and make yourself useful. Sorry. Why are you mean to me? I know you do not love me, but please be kind to me. I don't know why this is happening. I did not plan it. But all I ask that you are kind. Please be kind with your words. Be kind with your actions. Tomorrow is pregnant. Nobody knows what child it will bear. It's like, it's like something is wrong with you. Not, not sleep. 
cannot sleep. Just be quiet and do not disturb me. Rubbish. Also, you are mean. You are very mean. I lied to my mother that you are a kind man, but you are very mean. You think I am mean? You call me mean? Do you have an idea of what I'm going through? Do you? Tell me, do you? Listen, I don't care what you or anyone else thinks about me at this point. I want to sleep. Now, if you cannot keep quiet and sleep, just get out. In fact, get out, get out, get out, go outside. Then when you feel sleepy, you come back in to sleep. And in fact, if you like, don't just, just stay, stay there, get out. You can sleep outside if you want to get out. Teacher, also come outside, oh. Come out. What is this? Is this some sort of gango? Why will you throw her out in the middle of the night? Do you know that she came to my place to pass the night there? Yes, she did that because she does not want her mother to dislike you. Because she's claiming you're a good man. Were you not scared that if she, what if bad people had killed her on the road? Eh? No. Do you not fear for her life? No, now I fear for her life, seeing that she's uh, missed bad people like the two of you. Oh, with all due respect, sir, you're worse than an animal. A I goat. swear. Goat, bush rats, that is what you ask. Exactly. Are you talking to me? Yes, you. What do you want to do? Flog my eyes and remove my eyes tomorrow in school too, like you did to her own. Do you know that she accepted to marry you? To save you? And this? And this is how you repay her. And who got me into this in the first place by trying to save me? Mm -hmm. Who made me lose my love, Vera? Who? <laughs> Charlie! Who made me he lose has no my head. love, You have no head. He doesn't know what's going on. Mm -hmm. <laughs> he does not have eyes, he does not have ears. How would he hear? He's stupid. Yes. Push. No, no, please. No, don't insult him. Please. What is that? I don't understand. I haven't heard what. Hey! <laughs> Don't worry, your girlfriend very rough. We tell you! <laughs> well, I don't have time for this nonsense. I have to pay up work. 
I'll not be wasting my time so, uh, talking to potential dropouts like the two of you. <laughs> potential teacher, right? Bye Nonsense, bye. animal. <laughs> Hold. <laughs> That's <laughs> what you <laughs> are. No. Uh -huh. oh, Stop what? Stop what? This. I'm blind, I'm blind. It's not you. Stop insulting ah. me. Tomorrow Don't you will run to her house me. again now. Tomorrow you will run to her house. I beg, go and check if there's food. Me, I'm hungry. No, go no. now. I didn't even put that cooking your house. Go Maybe I didn't have food, food say. Ah. <laughs> it is chop, chop stick. I will pay you. You will pay me what? Do I look like I'm for sale? I'm not for sale. You know what? I'm done. I'm tired of everything. I'm leaving this town. To where? What do you mean to where? To my parents' place, of course. I need to start all over again. <sighs> what is going on here? And what is he doing here? What are you doing here? I thought you have a wife at home. And what are you doing here? Anyway, tell him about us. Go on, tell him. Use your mouth. Tell him. You don't want to talk. Tell him you love me. Tell him. Tell him it is me that you want and not him. This common teacher. You don't want to talk. You don't want to talk. Anyway, let me leave this place. Let me leave here. Look at him. All of you, just leave me alone. to know the truth. I went to Henro's house to beg him to spare your eyes because I couldn't imagine myself married to a one-eyed man. And I told him I would do anything he asked me anything, and I said yes. What? Just shut up and let me finish. That night, he came to my place. And after everything, he promised me that he would make Nene marry you and that no one will trouble you again. After that, he wanted more. He said he had fallen in love with me and not Alice and that he wanted to marry me. When I refused, he started threatening me and he ended up telling his boys what had happened between us. And that's why I broke up with you. Because I couldn't face you after what I had done. I knew that you were not going to forgive me. I just wanted to end it. I'm not begging you. I'm not asking you. And I'm not telling you this so you would forgive me. I'm just telling you this. So you would leave me alone. This is a joke. This has got to be a dream. Tell me, 
No, you did not. No. You did nothing for me. Okay? You did this for you. You said it earlier. You don't want to get married to a one-eyed, damaged man. This was for your ego. Whatever you say. Don't tell me whatever you say. Don't say that. What, what do you want me to do? I'm the one who lost here. Do you want to kill me? Go in there, get a knife and kill me because at this point, nothing makes sense anymore. <laughs> What's the matter? Please talk to me. What's wrong? You do this to me. The one person, the one person I thought I could trust with my life ends up backstabbing me. How? Oh. How can she cheat on me with your uncle? God, is this... Is this your plan for me, for my life? Is this it? What have I done? If she... If she loves me, why... Why would she sleep with someone else? Why? things to do. That's the lowest. The lowest. She can go for all I care. No. She can. She can go and be with your uncle. And to think that she's talking trash about doing it for me. For me. To save me. You go. You should go and be with your uncle.
I brought food. I noticed you have not eaten today. Thank you. And um, I'm sorry for talking your ear out last night. Uh, I guess I'm still hurt pretty much. And this is going to take a while for it to pass. But thank you for the food, I appreciate it. You're welcome. It will get better. Thank you. Oh. I've had time to think last night. And I would like to apologize for your eye. Everything I've put you through and everything you've been through as a result. I'm sorry. This is good. Thank you. Welcome. Um, have you been? I am. Okay, so um, I got you something <gasps> to give to show appreciation for everything. <gasps> you got me a dress. <laughs> Thank you. Um, sorry, sorry. Yeah, Thank you. Well, go ahead and try it. I should try it. Mm -hmm. So fine. Okay, now we're gonna try it. <laughs> supposed to be done with secondary school. Like, you should be in uni or something, in your finals. I know. Oh, basically, my father didn't always have money to pay for my school fees. My uncle only started taking care of my fees after my father died. And only because he wants to get married to my mom. No, oh, well, very happy to that. He's just <laughs> <slapped him> for <laughs> Oh, my. That was silly. You know, you look a lot more beautiful when you laugh and <laughs> smile. Yeah. So you should always, always smile and laugh. Okay. <laughs> okay. <laughs> <laughs> What? What? No! <laughs> <laughs> 